So what is this whole idea of intimacy, and what did God intend sex for anyway? I grew up in the church. I don't know how many of you did, um, but I attended church even as a little girl. And when I was very small, we used to use the King James Version of the Bible. That's what they would read from every Sunday. Graduated to the NIV around 1984, but when I was sort of that prepubescent period, we were still using the King James. And I remember sitting in church in the pews, and I would be sitting beside some of my friends, and the pastor would read from Genesis. And he would say, and Adam knew his wife Eve, and they conceived unto them a son. And you would giggle, and you would elbow all your friends, because that was so funny. You know, Adam knew his wife, because God was embarrassed of the actual word. That's what y'all thought. You know, God just couldn't <laughs> say the word, so he knew his wife. But <laughs> interestingly, when you look at that Hebrew word for Adam knew his wife, it's the word howda. And it is used throughout the Old Testament uh, to mean a really deep knowing. In fact, when David writes, search me and know me, oh God, that's the same word that he uses. So the question is, was it that God was embarrassed of using the real word, or did God know what he was doing when he used that word? And I think God knew what he was doing. Because I think God wants us to realize that sex is supposed to be a deep knowing. A deep, and not just a deep knowing, but when David says, like, search me and know me, there's that longing for connection. It's a deep longing to be connected and to totally know someone else. And that is what sex is supposed to embody. It can't do that if sex is anonymous with lots of def different people. It can only do that in a deeply committed relationship when you are with this person for life. That's why sex is supposed to be in marriage. And I think that that whole idea of a deep knowing encompasses three kinds of intimacy. And we can see the different kinds in the Bible. Um, there's certainly the physical intimacy, the fireworks in the bedroom, having the orgasms, all of that sort of thing, which is very important. And then there's also the emotional intimacy, feeling like you're just having fun and you enjoy being together. And then the spiritual intimacy, which is what I think many people miss, is that ability to just say, I love you when you're making love. And this is so wonderful. And I just want to be with you 